Welcome and thank you for joining me in this meditation where we are going to explore Mercury retrograde. So the word retrograde starts with the letters RB. And this is a wonderful way of explaining what a retrograde is, especially with Mercury. Because Mercury seems to come up very often during a year. And it tends to be a time where a lot of different challenges come up, especially with communication. Mercury rules all types of communication, including listening, speaking, learning, reading, editing, researching, negotiating, selling and buying. So we are reminded to work with some very special words beginning with RE. My favorite ones are reflection release, relax. There are other words such as rewind, re-evaluating, remembering or redoing. So many beautiful words to start with RE. But essentially, it is about taking a step back and going within and reminding yourself what really matters, what your true value is and how you react to situations that come up. Please see the description box of all tips on how to work with this energy, how to thrive in Mercury retrograde. What are those do's and don'ts? And we're going to be diving into meditation today, working with our throat chakra, which is all about communication and release, working with our heart chakra so we can integrate all the energies and working with a grounding so we stay solid we say stay stable and solid within no matter no matter what comes up so let's just turn in Get in a nice comfortable seated position where you won't be disturbed. Find a position that works for you, whether you're cross-legged, whether you're sitting on a chair or whether you need support such as a cushion. Find what works for you and begin to take your place. And as you're seated there, I would like you to just bring your palms of your hands to your lap. Palms facing upward. Rest your hands there and close your eyes. Take your inner gaze to the point between your eyebrows, which is your intuition, your third eye. And we are going to be doing some visualization work. So this will be working a lot with your third eye as well as you use your inner imagery, your inner visions to create, to explore. So I would like you to connect with your breath and just focus on your breath and its natural pattern. Notice if your breath is feeling shallow or heavy or is it feeling stressed or restricted or if it is feeling lighter or if, it, or if it's going with the flow. Just notice your breath and continue noticing your breath. And each time you inhale, I would like you just to inhale a little bit more deeper and exhale a little bit more deeper. Throughout this meditation, use your breath to release. As you're breathing in, Really engage your belly. So every time you're inhaling, you're feeling your belly expanding outwards. And every time you're exhaling, you're feeling your belly contracting inwards and releasing from your second chakra, 
which is all about emotions. And we can get quite emotional during retrograde season. So use your breath. Use your breath. Focus on your breath. And we are just going to slow everything down with a very simple, very simple way of breathing. A breathing technique that works with the lunar energy. And it works with your left nostril. So I like you to take your right hand and take one of the fingers, gently block off your right nostril. I, it might feel a bit, a bit strange in the, in the beginning, but I would like you just to breathe in and out through your left nostril and have your left hand resting on your side as normal. So get in a position that feels comfortable. I'm going to stay here for some time breathing in. Breathing in deeply to the left and gently holding at the top. And exhaling deeply through the left nostril as we pause at the end. Continue this breathing deeply through the left nostril. Holding at the top and exhaling deeply through the left nostril. The left nostril is all about lunar energies of calming energy, relaxing energy. Again, working the words starting with RE. And this is wonderful for just calming everything down. Right, nos right side and right nostril is the opposite. If you wanted more fiery energy, more solar energy, then you would work with the right side. But today we're going to be working with the left. So continue breathing through the left nostril only. And again, engaging your belly as you inhale deeply. Feeling your belly expand outwards. And exhale, exhale and continue breathing this way. Continue breathing this way as we begin our visualization. We're going to visualize that we are seated right in the middle of this winding road where the road extends forward in front of you and right behind you and beyond behind you. Take a moment just to visualize you are in the middle of this road. Facing forward in front of you, seeing a road extending in front of you and also feeling the road behind you. This road is a winding road. It has different curves and bends that represent different challenges and different times in our lives where we have gone through the highs and lows and natural cycles of life to take a moment to fill in all the inner images of this road representing your future, which is a road in front of you And the past, which is the road behind you. And where you are seated is where you are on your journey right now. So this is grounding you. Where you are in state, you are. As you visualize it, visualizing this, I would like you to just bring your focus towards your body. And connection to the road underneath you so feeling that support of gravity and the road underneath you in your visualization take a moment also to focus on the base of your spine 
which is our first chakra just feeling it really planted on the base underneath you this road that you seated in being rooted and grounded where you are in your life no matter how challenging it is right now continue breathing and deeply through your left nostril i'm going to work with some questions and see what comes up for you there is no right or wrong just see what comes up what emotions what thoughts or feelings whatever comes up allow it allow it to come up as i say the words and feel free 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 to also pause this meditation at any time at any time if you need more time so as you're breathing in deeply through your left nostril and you're feeling your belly expanding outwards and contracting every breath you exhale i like you to contemplate this question and the question is what you need to release right now what you need to release right now see what comes up and keep breathing nice and deeply through your left nostril taking notes of any emotions any thoughts that come up And when you're ready, I would like you to take a beautiful deep breath in through the left nostril and hold your breath on the top. And exhale through the mouth and let it all go. Let it all go. Let it all go. Again, when you're ready, take a beautiful deep breath through your left nostril and hold your breath right to the top. And exhale and release through the mouth. Let it all go. One last time, breathing in through the left nostril, holding your breath right at the top. Keep holding and connect with your throat. Connect with your throat chakra. And when you're when you're ready, exhale and release through the mouth. Really exhale it out. Let it all go. Let it all go. Return your breath back to normal, and you can release your right hand on your right nostril. Place it on the side, palms facing up. Just begin to breathe in deeply through both nostrils. Just notice the difference of quality of your breath and also feel the area between your nose and your throat allowing the space to be wide and open as you're breathing in deeply and as you're exhaling deeply clearing out any blockages around your throat chakra Our throat chakra is not just about how we communicate to other people. That's how we communicate to ourselves as well. Are we feeling like we communicate to ourselves in a loving way? Or are we always critical of ourselves? So one last time, connect with the question and the word is release. What do you need to release right now? And keep breathing deeply. Keep breathing deeply. And when you're ready, we are going to move on to the next question. We are going to work with the heart chakra. So I like you to connect with your heart chakra. 
take your right hand right palm and place it on the top of your heart take your right hand your right palm and place it on the top of your heart place it on the top of your heart space as i ask this question to you what are you grateful for right now what are you grateful for right now and see what comes up feel your heart space expanding connect with your heartbeat what are you grateful for in your life right now whatever comes up bring that energy into your heart space as you take a beautiful deep breath to your breath and holding your breath right at the top and exhaling completely and again breathing in deeply into your heart space when you're ready holding your breath right at the top and exhaling let it all go let it all go one last time beautiful deep breath in hold your breath at the top and exhale and release anything that doesn't serve you anything that your heart has been holding on to and allow your breath to settle allow your breath to settle Now connect to your heart space as I ask the next question. What you need to remind yourself? What you need to remind yourself about your journey right now? See what comes up. again connect with your heart beat connect with your heart connect with what feels true to you and we are going to work on a final question which is what do you need to work on right now what do you need to work on right now in your journey on your journey right now what you're working on what you need to work on just a little bit more what will help you expand on your journey see what comes up and again connect with your heart space connect with your heart beat slowly bring your inner gaze and your inner visions back on the road that you're seated on slowly feel in your visualization that there is a beautiful warmth on your back almost like sun energy rising behind you lighting up the road behind you representing your past and everything you have been through in order to get to this point feel the warmth of that energy coming from the sun lighting up the road behind you reflecting the light feel that sun energy coming over you and reflecting the light in front of you extending forward representing the future and feel that beautiful warmth beautiful warmth of the beautiful light reflecting on the road behind and in front where 
in front of you where you see that Just take a few moments just to enjoy the space completely. Stay as long as you like. Stay as long as you like. And when you're ready to end, I would like you to focus on the base underneath you. When you're ready to open your eyes, Take your inner gaze around the room and at this point I invite you to take a pen and paper and write down what came up for you. Write down what came up for you. Thank you for joining me in this meditation. Please check the description below. for more tips to work with this meditation and this mercury retrograde i would love to hear from you so feel free to share with me your experiences in the comments below or you can also send me a private message on an email which is also provided down below hey it's it's a it's all it's it's a time to be gentle with yourself things may take longer than you want and that's okay if you're feeling like you made a mistake now is a great time to forgive yourself and know that if you're feeling frustrated everyone is experiencing this on some level so remember you're not alone just be mindful be mindful of your thoughts and the things you do when you find yourself going back and forth just take a deep breath to calm down meditate return to your center smile and raise your vibe raise your vibe do a good deed to raise your vibe the retrograde is like a quarterly review it's a chance to tie up those loose ends and create a clear vision for the future so take advantage of it and you will emerge fresh and ready when mercury goes direct as the cliche goes what you resist persists so the more you can embrace chaos or a lack of control the better you will survive a mercury retrograde cycle all right have a blissful day bye bye for now